Hello everyone, and welcome to the next installment of Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Last time when we left off, I had just gotten into the Arcology on our second visit to Cairo, so let's head back there. All right. First things first, we got a paladin out there. Whack. It's kind of fun just to say whack. Dead SSC guard, an ammo clip that I can't actually get to, apparently. He dropped a shotgun and an ammo clip. Nothing that exciting. I'm going to go upstairs first and clear it out. To the extent I can, anyway, which is... Not much, with an armored Templar standing there. Ammo clip there. Dead Templar Paladin, EMP grenade, and a shotgun. Over here, I have a dead SSC guard, along with a pistol. An ammo clip and a flash bomb. Let's keep moving this way. I won't hit the Arcology Air Terminal just yet. I'll explore the rest of this map first. Nothing in that com that communicator apparently has nothing to say. Oh shoot, I'm still cloaked. So I have no business already being out of energy. What is this? Then I remembered. Alright, let's head into the SSC station, since I've got the code for it. Cloak. Whack. Checking this out. Cloak. Whack. Oh, damn. Okay. Your crosshairs indicate a target's alliance. Green represents allied targets, red represents hostile ones, and blue means neutral. Well, that's good to know. Anyway, let's try. Let's cloak. Let's whack. Whack the guy that's close to the alarm. That should save me some hassle. There we go. Disable the turret. So we got scrambler grenade, shotgun, ammo clip, ammo clip. Dead SSC. Has ammo clip, flash bomb, and pistol. The other paladin we knocked out. Stun prod, ammo clip, concussion grenade, shotgun. On the counter, a couple more ammo clips. Inside the locker, which Mrs. Amir gave us the key for, we find an increased range mod, an ammo clip, an ammo scavenger mod, and a mag rail. Finally, if we head into the cell, disabling the lethal gold beams, we find under the bed an increased damage mod, and a vent cover with nothing inside. That appears to be it for here, so... Since I do still have an armored Templar to get past... While I'm up here, I'm gonna try disabling some of the, some of the more problematic features down there. Whoever disabled it cannot have gotten far. Anyway. Let's head down now. Remember, there is no non-lethal way to deal with armored Templars. So I'm just gonna have to cloak up and let them live. 
EMP grenade and a crowbar. I saw the guy. They've got him in the flight bay. All the security for a frozen body? What kind of a threat could he be? I heard he's one of their leaders, and they put him into a deep sleep to wait for something. I don't know what, but it must be pretty important. Probably hoping to have his brain scanned into a computer by future technology. A mod freak's version of eternal life. We should unfreeze him and say it's like the year 2525. Just mess with his head. <laughs> yeah, and that the world's been colonized by aliens from another star system, and we picked him out of everybody who ever lived to save the planet. Sure, make it into a snipe hunt. Give him a flashlight and a dog whistle and send him into the Medina. Hey, whatever it takes to get these lunatics working for us. The bot's been shut down. That's strange. Ah! Hello? Out cold. <laughs> I'll find the person responsible for this violent attack. Just make sure you recloak between knockouts. No! Oh. <laughs> EMP grenade, shotgun, ammo clip. There's NG oh, resonance. No who you're with. This one, we've got concussion grenade, ammo clip, and pistol. Time for an energy cell. This one, we've got an EMP grenade, a pistol, and an ammo clip. Alright, let me pop down here and save real quick. Alright, let me hit the Queequeg safe, or the Pequod safe, rather. I got a scrambler grenade, a hundred credits, and an increased range mod. I don't really want the scrambler grenade. I was, uh... I was aiming for that goal to get completed, but... Ah, there we go. I guess I have to talk to the Queequeg's manager, too. Alright, now let's head over and... Well, shoot. How am I going to talk to NG Resonance? Because I uncloak when I go into dialogue mode. Out? Anyway. And I'm pretty sure I'll stand up, too. This could be a real problem. Come on, Alex, out, Doc. Hurry, come to my concert at the Pequod's coffee shop. Concert? Yes, I'm playing right now. That's impossible. The ecology has been seized by Templar Paladins. No one informed me of a cancellation. I arrived at Flight Bay 23 just 14 hours ago. Then you're probably trapped up on level 110, or dead. No one informed me of such an occurrence. You should assume that the concert started on schedule. Hurry! Don't forget, you're on the guest list from when you helped me out in Upper Seattle. I will keep this area secure. Goal received. NG Resonance. Trapped? NG Resonance might be trapped on level 110. Check to make sure that she's okay. Okay. We're good so far. Now she's not saying anything. Well, that makes it easy. All right, good. Where are you? Let me see your face. There's an ammo clip in here. That's all well and good, I suppose. But <laughs> Let's head into here. I'm paying attention now. Paladin. No! Whack. Uh! Whack. Uh! Whack. All right, three paladins down. Ammo, concussion grenade, shotgun. A dead SSC guard. We got a flash bomb, an ammo clip, and a pistol. Over here is another dead SSC guard. This one's got a flash bomb, ammo clip, crowbar, and a pistol. Can't go to Tarsus. So, let me check out the vents. Disable these beams so I don't have to deal with the spider bots. 
They're just chilling up there. If I head up, of course... Well, I actually don't remember where it spits me out, but... I've already cleared the upper level, but let me check anyway. Right, right, I can drop onto the upper level. Let's just head out this way. Check the other bodies I knocked out. I can get into the safe with two multi-tools. I'll go ahead and do that. A hundred credits. La-dee-da. That one had a concussion grenade, a shotgun, and some ammo. Over here, I got a flash bomb. Here's a dead SSC guard who has a flash bomb, a pistol, and some ammo. It's a combat knife just lying on the ground. This Templar has an EMP grenade, an ammo clip, and a shotgun. I'll go down to the maintenance area in a bit, but for now, let's check out the public terminal. Nanologists and meteorologists continue to watch Nanite Swell 11 intently. All indicators so far suggest that this is not a spurious short-term change, but a radical climatological shift that scientists expect will severely weaken the effects of this swell, if not eliminated entirely. For the first time in years, citizens in Old Cairo are able to walk in the open air without the aid of breathers or other apparatus. Besides the visibly clearer atmosphere, doctors hope to see a decline in the symptoms associated with what is commonly called Plague 11. A Trier business owner was murdered today. He was the manager of the local Queequeg's coffee shop. It is unknown whether he is the victim of another labor dispute or an unrelated crime. Uh-oh. Guess we shouldn't have encouraged him to stick his neck out. Calling themselves the Templars, heirs to the ancient sacred brotherhood, they now vow to protect purity in the present day from biomodification, which they believe pollutes and degrades the human genome. To accomplish these ends, they have officially left the Order Church and armed themselves. Grandmaster Saman, a former Luminan in the Order, has stepped forward to clarify their agenda. We have tried to spread our word quietly, but too many have fallen under the spell of this corrupt technology. Since when is strength more important than aspiration? Since when is the mind more important than the pursuit of wisdom? Hear us, citizens. In times to come, you will thank us for our bravery. As the Templars unveil their plans and their alarming influence and strength, the world waits to see what this work may entail. Alright, that one's done. So now let's head down the ramp to the maintenance level. Got another dead SSC guard over here. Flash bomb. Oh, come on. Let me drop him. Flash bomb. Looks like a, oh, a rocket launcher. Pistol, flash bomb, ammo clip. All right, let's actually head into the maintenance area, see what we can find. This, it was the elevator to the Medina, which we can't use now. Let's head through here. I don't know what that hiccup was, but it doesn't really matter. Back here we've got a pistol, a dead SSC guard, of course. Come on! How am I supposed to put him down? Guess I have to carry him all the way out. Finally. Whew, alright. With that little hassle dealt with, let's get back in here. Got an ammo clip, an ammo clip, 
and a Widowmaker SMG, the last unique weapon. Rapid fire submachine gun modified by Omar Technosect for accuracy. Its alternate firing mode launches a spider bomb. It's a pretty awesome weapon if you're playing lethally, but I'm not. So, let's check out Nanoformer programming instead. We've got a dangerous prisoner in custody. I'd move along if I were you. I'm part of the Chief's personal detachment. Speak with Chief Morgan or get lost. We don't have time for this. We've got a dangerous prisoner in custody. Key code? I think I have the key code, don't I? I guess not. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna baton these guys. I'm okay with that. Oh, come on! Why can't I drop corpses or bodies anywhere inside here? It's making me mad. All right, good. Good news. Oh, I'm out of food. That's the open spot. Anyway, we got an SMG, an EMP grenade, an ammo clip, an ammo clip, a mag rail. Looks like two ammo clips in there. I don't particularly want to use uh, another multi, t another two multi tools. We can head down here now. Dead SSC guard, pistol, ammo clip. Back here we've got a flash bomb. An energy cell. An ammo clip. A bio mod canister. An EMP converter mod. And a multi tool. That's all pretty good, actually. But. I do wonder what, uh what prisoner he was talking about. There's no one here. And I can't seem to convince Alex to finish climbing the ladder. There we go. Much better. Much better. Alright. That's it for here, so let's make our way past the still-standing armored Templars. And head for or the Arcology Air Terminal. I can avoid eating energy on one if I go this way. Okay, actually, the, uh, the cleared out security station seems like a pretty good place to drop in, because I should be able to get to the air terminal without even having to go past the guard. Perfect! Here we go. Arcology air terminal's up next. Arcology Air Terminal. You arrive. Good. I am here to assist. How'd you get past the Templar defenses? My priorities are survival and infiltration at any cost. Enough talk. I am here to assist. Your advice? Wait here. We will be more effective as a team. Your advice? Wait here. You will need my assistance. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna let him go and do his thing. Anyway, we got vending machines up here. 
No people on this level. There's no way to prevent death here, I don't think, so... Young enemy, my name is Pliable. How quickly you kindle a faith in a brother you never knew. Maybe I plan to kill him, like the Illuminati want me to. Then your ear bends to the worldly wise men, to continue the archaic analogy. The smallest breeze carries you off nature's straight and narrow path, which is ever eroded by the human lust for transcendence. I'll keep that in mind. Chairman Dumier lusts for worldly power. J.C. Denton, what's left of him, lusts for worldly bliss. And to both of them, you are nothing but a finely wrought tool. I suppose you're entitled to your opinion. Why so hostile? I'm not evil. I merely oppose the powers that have shaped and confined you up until now. Just allow my scientist, Dr. Todd, to scan your cell nuclei and leave Paul alone. You're asking me to join the Templars? Yes, young pliable. Dr. Todd is waiting for you in the flight bay. Do as he asks. As long as you cooperate, my paladins will hold their fire. I will have additional instructions for you when you reach Liberty Island. Goal received. Give blood. Templar, Saman has asked you to give Dr. Todd a sample of your nucleoplasm. If you agree to do this, you will forfeit Paul to the Templars, eliminating any chances of assassinating or awakening him. Alright, Saman doesn't want to talk, but the good news is... I am preparing to meet you in Flight Bay 23, but the pilot beacon seems to be offline. You will need to activate it before I can land. At last, do not betray us, Denton. Your assignment is to engage the Paladins. I will complete my mission. At last, do not betray us, Denton. Alright, well, let me check things out in here. I can talk to these Templars. They're not hostile, as you can see. Your business is with the Luminant and Dr. Todd. We have no more use for you here. Enough interruptions. Enough interruptions. We will need the Denton body for the experiment. Yes, in order to win this war, we've had to employ some of the very technologies we intend to destroy. This time, you will see the ends justify the means. Yes, in order to win this war, we've had to employ some of the very technologies we intend to You may pass. I guess the Luminan was right. Never fear. Dr. Todd has found a non-lethal way to remove your biomods. Never fear. Dr. Todd has found a non-lethal way to remove your biomods. Let's check the public terminal. Although the summit has been surrounded by chaos and unrest, WTO and order representatives did finally manage to meet and discuss ways to alleviate the tension between their respective organizations. WTO Chairman Chad Dumier was proud to make the following announcement. It took countless hours of negotiations, but we were able to come to an agreement that benefits both organizations' individual members worldwide. In the coming weeks, we will each be presenting new bylaws that will eventually create an interlocking relationship between the two groups, so that our coexistence will be complementary rather than conflicting in the future. As the new bylaws are presented following this historic announcement, we will bring you the details as soon as possible. Live from Cairo, Egypt, where the archaeology has been taken by a small military group called the Knights Templar. Fed up with what they believe to be the pollution of the human genome by biomodification, and frustrated with the general public's refusal to respond to their message, the, the Templars well. have instead taken Cairo by force, and by all accounts intend to enact their agenda through a military state. There have been no indications yet what their next move may be. Experts anticipate drastic measures based on what we've over. learned so far. Although the summit has been surrounded by chaos and unrest, WTO and order... Okay. Purity in heart, mind, and body. Okay. Let's head to Bay 23 first. I will go ahead and disable these beams just because they're here. They will eventually disappear. 
Which is good. Let me check the vents, too. We've got an ammo clip and a data cube here outside Bay 24. Denton's personal effects. The objects on Denton's body when we captured him have been gathered and stored upstairs. They may be contaminated, or worse, used as relics of a martyr once we destroy him. When we relinquish this hangar, use high explosives to disintegrate them before pulling out. Interesting. Let me head to Bay 23. Before I go... Make a choice and send everything into chaos. So here's Bay 23. SSC guards. I think we should just rush them, but the captain won't like give me. the order. The SSC is supposed to be about action. This is what we've been reduced to. I think we should just rush them. We're trapped. I can't believe SSC Command let us get into this mess. You'd think someone would have seen this coming and warned us. Maybe made a contingency plan? They station us without any useful intel and then wonder how we get cornered like this. They station us without any- I just wanted a steady job, not a holy war. Hey, Dr. Nassif. This is more than I ever bargained for. I knew the Templars were dangerous, but who knew they were this powerful? This is more than I ever bargained for. We got two ammo clips on the shelf. That's it for now. Let's talk to Dr. Nassif. Dr. Nassif, how are you doing in the middle of all this? I'm doing okay, for now. The Templars are right at our door, but at least they're giving us a breather. I just hope the rescue flight gets here before the next volley starts. It's almost too much to comprehend right now, especially considering how fast the Templars seize control of the city. They've got to be stopped. Their main objective was to capture Paul Denton from Apostle Corps' lab here in the Arcology, which they succeeded in doing. We have intel that he's being held in Flight Bay 24. What do you think they're planning? They will eventually murder him. You can't let all our hard work be destroyed by these lunatics. On some instinctual level, you feel a basic kinship. You know there's bond. Please, Alex, save Paul. Oh, is that a biomod canister? Thanks. You've got to rescue Paul and fulfill your destiny. In effect, Paul and JC helped make you everything you are today. It's time to repay that debt. You can't let the Templars or the Illuminati cloud your judgment. Just follow your instinct. You'll make the right decision. We've got to get out of here. I can't stand being trapped like this. I want to do something. Just follow your instinct. All right. You'll make the right decision. Well, there's a repair bot here. Repairs complete. Here's the SSC chief. Let's talk to him. What's the situation here, Captain? The Templars have the Arcology locked down, and have removed the pilot beacon so we can't even call for an airlift out of here. Did they destroy it, or just move it? We expect that they just relocated it, since the beacon has to be within a certain range of the hangar bay to be useful. But we can't get out to search for it, let alone activate it. We suspect it may be up in the control room, since that area is so heavily guarded. If you can find it and turn it on, the SSC would know to send in a rescue chopper. He doesn't seem to have anything else to say. So let me check the rest of the flight bay. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Alright. Well, let's head down and... Let me head into the cargo bay. Down here, we've got the real NG residence and a couple more guards. Plus, NG's luggage and a book. Let me talk to the guards first. This one's not saying anything. Neither is this one. Let me talk to the real Slow NG. Down. Wait a minute. You aren't my pilot. Do I look like him? I have five pilots, and you aren't any of them. This is just perfect. Had any trouble with the Templars? Trouble? Trouble? Not at all. Unless you count canceling a major concert, getting trapped in a war zone, and practically starving to death without even a number to call for room service. Maybe I can help get you out of here. Oh, sure. I'll wait for my own people, thanks. I don't want to get myself shot. Goal complete. Hey, back off. I don't know you, so leave me alone. I'm gonna scream. I 
that you don't even have an oncology pass. I said take my things to the VIP lounge and they stick me down here. I think this is just an old storeroom they tried to fix up. I went up to see what was going on and all the guards were just standing around. I mean, really? Right before getting me into this mess, the record company fired my manager. Pretty stupid, huh? This is harassment. My lawyer knows how to prosecute pushy fanboys. I don't know you, so leave me alone. Alright, let's read the book. Uh, Detective Dirk Murchison. We've seen a hundred times. There's a med kit in this one, which I can just open. That's awesome. This one requires three multi-tools. It's got a weapon mod, ammo, and a pistol in it. This one's got credits, food, a bottle of wine, and a pack of cigarettes. None of that is really worth it. Now before... Again, before I start committing the choices and dealing with hostiles, I actually want to run back to the Arcology just to talk to the AI construct I again will complete my mission. real quick. I wonder if the Templars out here are still hostile. I don't know. When J.C. Denton went into hiding, his compatriots founded Apostle Corps to continue his work until he was ready to return to the world. I bet these guys are still hostile. Yes, they are. No problem. Uh, I don't think I can get into the corporate suites. Nope. Just cloak up and run right past him. Now the one down here might be a little more complicated just because I have to have the conversation down here. But hopefully I'll be okay. Hi Alex, hurry. Come to my concert at the Pequot's coffee shop. It's official. No NG Resonance concert. No one informed me of a cancellation. I arrived at Flight Bay 23 just 14 hours ago. That's right. You arrived and you're still there. I saw you myself, the real NG Resonance. No one informed me of such an occurrence. You should assume that the concert started on schedule. Hurry! Don't forget, you're on the guest list from when you helped me out in Upper Seattle. Alright. Well, the AI's just stupid. I guess that's all we really learned there. So let's head back to the air terminal. After that little detour. Alright. All right. Well, no one in here is hostile. At last, do not betray us, Denton. All right, I need to try a couple of things. I think the decision point is when I open the door to Bay 24 and I talk to uh Dr. Todd. So, let me see what's going on up here first. That would be Bay 24. So let's disable the turret. Let's disable that one too. We got binoculars, a med kit. Two med kits, looks like. Yes. Very good. And. Back here behind the bench is a multi-tool, also handy. Now if I head over here... You found the pilot beacon. Activate it and I'll be able to land. Let's do this right quick. Excellent. My navigation unit has what it needs. I can land as soon as you're ready. I have some unfinished business to take care of.
in there, we've got two spider bombs. How that could possibly be worth three multi-tools to anyone is beyond me. All right, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a new perma save here because when I refuse to give blood, and I'm not gonna give blood, I'm certainly not siding with the Templars, then <clears throat> they're all gonna attack me. The I think the elite trooper is gonna attack them at that juncture, so I'll just I'll have to see what happens. But for now, let's open the door. I just need one little drop of blood from the tip of your finger. What's the sample for? A good cause. Let me see your finger. I am gonna tell him to go to hell. Go to hell. Then we will take your blood by force. We will prevail. Shut down. Deputy O, don't raise no hands. Okay, they've sounded an alarm. These guys are all hostile now. The so first thing I'll do is whack this one paladin. No! Oh, where are you? Let me see your face. What's this? Knocked out? He drops a spider bomb, a shotgun, and an ammo clip. The elite commando has been killed, but we still have you. Remember what I said about Paul? He and JC want to impose bio modification worldwide, a nanite plague worse than the one in Cairo. Help us keep the technology under control. Alright. Someone must have a death wish. The elite dropped a mag rail. There's no way to prevent him from dying. He's gonna lose to all these armored Templars. The now, I need to do everything it's I like can. like a cat playing with its Identify prey. Yourself. Why don't they finish off of those SSC fold up with a hanger over it? Now, I need to be very careful here. I'm certain it's it seems this zone is safe. Oh, I'll find the point. For this violent attack. Shut down. There's been a strange. Alright. I'm certain it's nothing we can't handle. You may pass. I took down the one paladin I could. I hope he's only unconscious. Where are you? Come on out and die. Yes, he's just unconscious. We got a flash bomb. Looks like an SMG and probably an ammo clip. Yep, there it is. Okay. Let's head in here. I'm gonna drop Dr. Todd and then recloak. Everything's. There's Paul Denton. There's a military bot. Been drummed senseless. Someone must have a death wish. Okay. Nothing left but armored Templars. We've done everything we can, so back here we've got binoculars, a pack of cigarettes, a sniper rifle, and two ammo clips, and a multi-tool. So, from back here, I'm going to do a quick save, and I'm going to revive Paul. Oh wait, I haven't quite done everything I can yet, because there is still a... An unarmored paladin up here. Wow. Now we've got a shotgun, a concussion grenade, Templar pilot beacon. Nothing in here except looks like a model of Sid Black's Harrier, an EMP prox mine, and 
three multi-tools to get in here. These are Paul's personal effects. We've got a glass destabilizer, a biomod, two biomod canisters, and two ammo clips. Alright, nothing left to do except go ahead and revive Paul. Revive Paul Denton. Welcome back. I just revived your brother JC in Antarctica. Tracer Tong is coordinating with him from Germany. You look like one of the test subjects. Alex Denton. JC said I was one of the MJ-12 experiments. Of course. Alex. Sorry. They say the brain freeze snaps off a few dendrites. So it's time. Your biomod architecture. It's universal? That's what reversed my coma? Yes. JC wants you to meet him at Liberty Island. It won't be easy leaving New Cairo, though. The Templars have seized the Arcology. Don't worry about me. I didn't just come back from the dead to get killed hours before the big event. Join us at the statue. As MJ-12 used us, we've used you. But the commodification of ability is about to end. Hold on, Alex. Paul will join me on Liberty Island. I've constructed a machine that will populate the atmosphere with the particles that make up our biomonitor. Attention. I may need your help against the force of Templars that has intervened. More when you arrive. Contact your pilot with the Flight Bay 23 Beacon. Don't worry about Paul. I will arrange for his extraction. Fine, go your own way. But don't think I'm going to ignore a threat to the world I brought back from Ashes 20 years ago. The collapse was the work of your good brother, J.C. Denton, remember? My commandos will be waiting for you on Liberty Island, and so will I! Now that I've activated what's left of Apostle Corps, what sort of future are you trying to bring about? I've heard J.C.'s version. It probably sounds like a lot of high-minded bullshit to an outsider. My thoughts exactly when J.C. started speaking in tongues after the merger. But the logic is compelling if you give it time. How so? If you want to even out the social order, you have to change the nature of power itself, right? And what creates power? Wealth? Physical strength? Legislation? Maybe. But none of those is the root principle of power. I'm listening. Ability. Ability is the ideal that drives the modern state. It's a synonym for one's worth, one's social reach, one's election in the biblical sense. And it's the ideal that needs to be changed if people are to begin living as equals. And you think you can equalize human ability with biomods? The commodification of ability, tuition of course, but increasingly genetic treatments, cybernetic protocols, now biomods, has had the side effect of creating a self-perpetuating aristocracy in all advanced societies. When ability becomes a public resource, what will distinguish people will be what they do with it. Intention, dedication, integrity, the qualities we would choose as the bedrock of the social order. Oh, okay. The profit motive serves society well, but our technology has advanced far enough. It's time to make intelligent use of what we've already created. The last century was ruled by progress and novelty for their own sake. This one has a chance to be ruled by purpose. Right now, the name J.C. Denton is a synonym for the collapse. In the end, though, the period of history he has set in motion will be seen as the Second Enlightenment. There was a time when the details of governmental structure inspired lofty debates. The empowerments of the judicial branch in the United States, an independent legislature, an elected executive, all the innovations that were eventually taken for granted by our ancestors. Sorry about the hiccup, folks. You memorized the phrase separation of powers in school, but in the beginning, no one was exactly sure how to pull it off. Political thinkers of the Enlightenment were building a clockwork. We need to assemble a genome. Meet us in New York. Help us replace the social mechanism with a social organism, one that is self-aware and can consciously evolve. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Go. History is waiting to be made. All right, Paul's That's done talking. Right the Let's get out of here. Got an elite trooper out here, another one here, no problem, let's just head up, stay cloaked and silent and they shouldn't make any trouble for me. Ah, there's one standing right there. JC Denton is ready for your help. Without you, the procedure cannot work. What procedure? 
He needs to upgrade the Helios core by merging it with your systems. With access to a living host, Helios will be able to regulate the planet-wide distribution of the Biomod architecture. So I'm going to be merged with Helios just like JC is? Every person on Earth will be merged to one degree or another. Let's go. Let's go. You have proven to be a great ally, Alex. JC looks forward to opening a new era in human history with you by his side. I'm not going to lie, that went much more smoothly than I thought. I thought Paul, like, joined a fight and you had to protect him. I guess I don't remember this game that well. Anyway, we're done in Cairo. And, amazingly, we have arrived at Liberty Island. The first level in the first game is the last level of the new one. So... We start off in a fairly safe spot. You see some weird things going on, but at this juncture, I'm going to call it a video. We're done in Cairo, we've arrived at Liberty Island, and we'll pick it up there next time on Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. See you guys then, thank you for watching, bye bye.